Welcome back to Dawn Patrol. If you've been following the show, the news is out that we will not be having the women surfing here this morning. We are, though, on hold for the men's qualifying series. It's the QS 10,000 ranked Billabong Pro Kash Kash presented by Allianz. Lots to talk about. And it's not just the word qualifying series, it's re-qualifying series because we do have 15 of our championship tour surfers here looking for vital points now at this stage of the season. Uh, yeah, Seabass, one of them, you know, he's one of those guys who's going to show up and have fun. We saw Jadson Andre yesterday getting above the lip looking really good. I really think that those guys, when they get here, they've got that confidence because they've already been here. They know how to get the job done. It's interesting to watch those guys mix it up because they're coming up against all these other guys who they might not have done the first couple of events because they've tried to get their roll on, right, with the WCT on the championship tour. But then once they get here, they're just going to start smoking fools. It's pretty fun to watch those guys go out with confidence. This is how the systems work. The championship tour, 34 surfers, but it's only the top 22 that re-qualify into 2017's chapter. Now, this is where we do a overlap. The top 10 finishes on the qualifying series. There's an embryonic relationship between the qualifying series and the championship tours. That's applicable, of course, for both men's and women's. And that's how we keep reinventing and bringing the new talent through. And, of course, putting the championship tour surfers themselves under increasing pressure. Well, we saw that yesterday. Uh, we, we saw the heat with Adam Melling. And he was up against those guys who were just on fire. And he got taken out by, you know, these, these guys who were just campaigning on the... QS Tour, and there's guys like Dusty Payne in there too, Kipes, that are coming in hot from Hawaii, and they want a result. Talk about new blood. I want to focus on some of the Brazilians, the young Brazilians coming up. Iago Dora, Luel Felipe, Hobson Santos, all had great showings and heat wins yesterday. Those guys showed up in force, and to me, dominated. Wow. There you go. I think, I, I can't wait to see guys like Leo Firavanti. Uh, this guy, number one in the world on the, on the QS, on the qualifying tour, he's coming in hot, super confident. He's calm, he's collected, he's just hanging out on the sidelines. Nobody said a word about him yet, yet he's the number one guy on the QS tour. Yep, he, we're still waiting to see him tee up in the round of 96. Of course, looking at other championship tour surfers here, yeah, Maddie Banting will be looking for performances. Italo Ferreira is here as well. Other big names to look at, Miguel Pupo. Uh, Stu Kennedy, Ryan Callanan to talk about as well. So much. And of course, Sir Kaipo, you're mentioning it there. There's this whole new wave, not just the Brazilians. Great talent coming out of this European region as well. Juan Duru, fourth on the qualifying series. Couple of thoughts on that. He won his heat yesterday. He is looking focused. And I think there's a big year for Juan. Came very close before. This could be his year. We'll leave you with some qualifying series highlights. We'll be back for a call at 10 a.m. Enjoy. Welcome to day one of the QS 10,000 Billabong Pro Kash Kash presented by Allianz Sugaras. We're liking what we see from February here. And Hobson is going to make it happen on the set. Attacks it. It somehow hangs on. Wow, well, right now a heat leader. He's committing now. Simpson. Let's see if he can bump a number up here. Jaddy accelerates into fourth gear. That's a better pop. And he'll unleash there with a bit of power. 